Hello, welcome to another unboxing. This time it's a sensor cleaning kit for an APS-C camera. Now, I've never used one of these before and my camera is a few years old and I'm just wondering if this is the right thing to do or not. But uh, I'm going to give it a go. Um, the cleaning swabs and cleaner are applicable to the cleaning of a CCD CMOS of an APS-C frame cameras, sensor width 16mm. They can also be used to clean lenses, filters, edge crevices of other optical lenses and surface crevices of cameras. The cleaning end of the swab is made of ultra-fine microfiber which is pliable and flexible. It can clean the sensor safely. Ergonomically designed, it is easy to use. Produced in a class 100 clean room, the vacuum sealed cleaning swab is protected from dust contamination in transportation and storage to meet the cleaning requirements of digital imaging devices. The eco-friendly mild formula is alcohol free and volatile, specially designed for camera sensor cleaning. It can safely and effectively remove the stubborn stains on the sensor. So, things not to use, wet wipes, tap water or alcohol cleaner. It also said when it was manufactured, it was the 4th of the 24th, 17, expires on the 4th of the 23rd, 20, so here we go then, I'm going to have a go at cleaning my camera. So let's see what we get in the box. Now I've made sure today that I haven't burnt any incense, and I quite often have an ultrasonic mister thing going with um, nice smells. I haven't had that on today and I've also closed the windows in here and I haven't done any vacuuming so I guess this is as good as it gets for here. Okay, so all the swabs are sealed. Let me get this solution. So we get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, we get eleven. I wonder if that was maybe ten, or am I just not counting properly today? Anyway, there we are. That's what we get in there. So let's get straight on with it. So I've got the A6000, the original one. At the moment it's got a 50mm f2.8 um, macro, Truett by Zison, very good lens. So just to start with, I'm going to give a good rub around the camera. Because I was at Weston last week at the air show and it did get a bit sandy. I gave it a clean then, I gave it a vacuum. And let's just make sure. Don't want any stray dust from anywhere getting in. I usually give the lenses a little bit of a blow like that, anyway. Okay. Right then. So I'm going to go around the inside of the ring here, carefully. The reason I'm doing this is I, when I took some photos at, the, at Western, I think I saw one or two little blobs on this. 
don't know if they show up on here. Just having a look visually now. It looks fairly clean. But it is a few years old and um, I'm sure there is a build up of something. So uh, it says give it a blow and then use one of these without the solution on. And if that doesn't work, then use the solution. But I'm opting to go straight for using the solution. I think. Okay. It says put a few blobs. It isn't actually blobbing at all, this thing. got a seal on it I think. Oh, just what I didn't need right now. Oh well, no it's not that. Must just be me being over cautious I guess. Ah, okay. So I've just seen a blob forming. I put two on. Well, three seem to be uh, enough just to coat one side of that. So let's uh, zoom in a little bit here. So it says to go straight across in one direction. I think there was a blob on there. And then the other way to draw it off. Well, that's not working out very well, but. It says if the sensor is still wet, so I guess I put too much on here. It says if the stent, if the sensor is still wet, you must use another one of these. So I'm going to go straight ahead and do that. So that one's done now. I can't use that again. I'd say it isn't quite the same width as the APS-C sensor. It's slightly smaller. I'm going to use this side. Oh, it does look a bit cleaner actually. I, I think there were a few blobs on it. How's it looking now? I think you're only meant to draw it across once or twice, but uh, there we are. That looks cleaner. I think there were one or two little blobs. So I can't see any residue on there and it does look cleaner. So that's it. That's done. I think it does look cleaner. I don't know if you can see any difference there, but I think there were what looked like a couple of water stains on that. Um, I guess you've got to try and not drag those things. Obviously you didn't put no pressure on them, but you try and keep it to a minimum.
I'm straight back on with the lens. Let's put a battery in there. And let's have a look. So I'm going to have a quick, um, take a quick photo here. Now what setting have I got that on? Let's put it on automatic. Oh, that was a, a black and white setting that was. Well, it looks fine. So um, if I do find any real differences, I'll let you know. I'll put a link to my Flickr photos on so you can compare the uh, before and after. So my Flickr channel is Mesmerland Flickr and the date today, where are we? It's the 29th of June, 2017. So if you look on my Flickr channel for any photos after that date, with the A6000, then we can uh, do a comparison. As soon as I have taken a few, I'll put two examples up um, in the more info. I'll put up a before and an after example. Um, I'll try and do it with the same lens as well. But there we are, so that seemed relatively painless. It didn't leave any smearing or anything like that. It does appear to my eye to be a little bit cleaner. I'm sure I had two little water stains. I say I was in Western Supermare at the air show and I'm sure I saw two things, I was going right in direct sunlight but obviously I couldn't be sure if it was on the lens or it was just because I was shooting right into the sun but I guess if it's going to show it up, it's going to show it up when the sun's right on the lens so um, well, seemed painless enough thanks for watching and uh, see you next time